Hello to Alpha. Good morning. How do you do today? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. And then my presentation. Can you see my screen sharing also? Yes. Okay, very good. So without wasting any time, I think we can start the class right now, right? Okay, so any problem with your previous uh, exercise? Oh, no, no previous exercise, right? I think uh, uh, I want to continue the topic for today. Then I will give you the exercise after the classes today, right? Okay, so uh, we remember back the things that we learned yesterday, all right? And then the previous class, yeah, from the previous class, we already learned about the classes of food. Make sure you understand and identify seven classes of food, its function, the example of food, and maybe what happened if you take less uh, or the defi defi deficiency of food. Uh, if you take less of, the, for example, the vitamin, you do not take the vitamin, what happened to you? Okay, make sure you understand that. And then for the practical side, we will do the practical when the school reopen. And then yesterday, we also learned about the importance of the balanced diet. We also learned about the food pyramid and then make sure you able to identify which food that you need to take more, you're able to take more, and which food that you must take sparingly. Okay, you must take the food less and then which food are you taking more. And then also yesterday, we talked about the, uh, the size of plate, the recommended size of plate. Half, half, uh, not quarter, quarter, half, right? Suku, suku, separuh, eh? Uh, which portion you need to take more and then which portion I think you can take less eh? in order to have the, the purpose of the balanced diet is to, uh, because you want to, you want to stay healthy, okay? That is the purpose of the, of the balanced diet because if you eat, eh, if you do not uh, practice balanced diet, there are many complications. For example, the most uh, common things is diabetes. Yeah? Diabetes is a disease when you take uh, what we call a sugar too much. Okay, when you take salt too much, maybe you have a high blood pressure or hypertension. Okay, and then what happens if you take fat more? If you uh, you take more fat, uh, maybe you have oh. obesity. Yes. Yeah? Thank you. Maybe you will have obesity. And then we have excess uh, excess fat in your in your uh, in your body, okay. And then fat also contain cholesterol. Eh? If you remember what is cholesterol, cholesterol is the uh, substance inside the fat that may clog our blood vessel. Eh? When the blood vessel inside our body is clogged, uh, maybe uh, for, uh, especially the, the blood vessel, the blood vessel that supply the oxygen to the heart, okay. And then maybe have the person maybe have heart attack, okay, heart attack, yeah? or heart disease, okay, because there is not enough oxygen to the heart, the heart cannot function, the heart will cease to function, and then maybe we got the, uh, they got the heart attack because of the excess cholesterol, cholesterol from the from the fat, right? So you must understand that, and then also we also learn about the important, oh sorry, the factor that influence the calorific requirement. Okay, we have all together six factor. One of it is uh, body size, for example, age, work, gender, state of health, and climate. Uh, make sure you understand that. Okay, so today, uh, can you see the, my presentation, right? So today we're going to learn about the calorific value of food. You still remember what is calorific? What is calorie? Calorific is the from the word calorie. Okay, calorie mean the energy value that contained in food. It's just a unit, eh? the unit of energy contained in food. We call it calorie. Okay. Okay. Uh, we continue. <clears throat> so, what is the calorific value of food? The food contains some basic classes: carbohydrate, protein, and fat. You still remember? Uh, this is other example of classes of food, eh? very important one. Carbohydrate, what is the function of carbohydrate? Anybody? 
function of carbohydrate? Give Anybody? Energy. Yes, in tone. Energy. Give, uh? Yes, of course. Very good. To give us energy. Extra energy. Yes, Zing. Very good. To give us extra energy. Not extra energy, uh, but quick energy. Okay? Fast energy. All right? And then protein, for example, uh, need for growth. And then the protein we need for the the repair repair of our tissues. Eh? And then fat. Okay? Fat is one of the sources of energy actually, but it is stock first. And then we need, uh, if we want to get the energy from the fat, eh, we need, uh, it is what we call a slow, slow form, slow sources of energy. Okay? So all these basic classes produce different quantity of energy different quantity of energy when burned okay how do you how do they calculate the value of the food the value of energy in the food when they burn when they burn for example we have a bread we try to burn the bread and then they can calculate the value of energy by uh, burning the by burning completely the food so we can get the, the what we call we can calculate the calorific value okay so what is the calorie? Amount of energy, again here, amount of energy released when one gram of food is burned completely. So this is how they get the uh, value of energy inside the food. Yeah? Again, I repeat again, amount of energy released when one gram of food is burned completely. You have one gram of food and then what is the amount of energy released when we burn them? Okay, can you understand it? When we burn something, it will create an energy, right? It will convert the energy uh, from the what? From the chemical, uh, in the chemical energy to the heat energy. So the heat energy we can calculate, all right? So we call it energy value or calorific value, okay? This total energy unit, what is the measure? Whether it is measured in calorie or joule, okay? There are two units that can you can use for measuring the value of energy in the food whether it is calorie huh? uh, the unit is the symbol is cal here yeah, or joe joe or the unit is j uh, these are the what we call the unit we use in order to uh, the unit you use to to measure the the amount of energy in the food okay can you understand this Calorie or joule, but usually we use calorie, C-A-L, okay? All right, so uh, this is the energy value of fat, protein, and carbohydrate, okay? Before we go to the first timetable, uh, this is the conversion, yeah? This is the conversion of to calorie, from calorie to joule, from joule to calorie, so this is the conversion, okay? You need to do to, to remember the conversion here. Conversion. Eh? Oh, con conversion. Conversion of unit. Okay, this is the conversion of unit. Okay, so according to the conversion of unit here, one calorie is equal to 4.2 joule. Okay, you must remember both unit, uh, both, sorry, both unit is the unit of energy. Calorie and joule is the unit of energy. But they are different, different, uh, what we call, uh, different unit, but measuring the same, measuring the same, what we call, um, physical unit. Okay, just like a meter, right? Uh, just like a ruler here, we have a meter and we, we have centimeter and we have um, inch uh, or we have centimeter and we have millimeter, right? So these are the conversions, okay? And then one kilocalorie, the unit, uh, the symbol is KCAL, is equal to 4.2 kilojoule, okay? Kilo mean what, class? What's the value of kilo? How many kilo? Kilo is one. Kilo is one tau. One thousand. Yeah? Yes, Yolin Tong. Yes, kilo is one thousand. Yeah, kilo is one thousand. So, one kilocalorie also equal to four point two kilo kilojoules. All right, but usually, usually, 
uh, we measure the amount of energy in food uh, by using calorie, yeah? calorie unit, C A L O R I E. Okay. So, table 3.3, this is the energy value of fat, protein, and carbohydrate. All right. So, uh, we took at the first, uh, we look at the first food class that is fat. All right. Fat contain here, fat contain 37 kilojoules of energy in one gram. Can you understand this unit? Huh? Fat, meaning that one gram of fat contain how many energy in, in joule? This one, first one, this one. Meaning that for one gram of fat, it contain how many energy? Energy in joules. Uh, can you understand the, the, the end table? Sorry, the table. Can I? Class, right? Okay, good. Meaning that one gram of fat contain 37 kilojoule of, of what? Of energy. Okay. And then if we are using the unit calorie, same thing, if you, what we call, um, um, look at the conversion. So same amount of fat, okay, one gram of fat also contain nine kilocalorie of energy. Huh? Just different unit only, yeah? different unit only. Can you understand this uh, table? Okay, how about protein? Protein also, uh, protein also um, store an energy, store energy. Okay, so what is the, uh, the value of protein in one gram? In protein, okay, it stores 70 kilojoules of energy in one gram of protein. Okay, or equal to four kilocalorie, or equal to four kilocalorie. Okay, how about carbohydrate? Carbohydrate is same like uh, protein, meaning that it will store one gram of carbohydrate will store seventeen kilojoules of energy, or four kilocalorie of energy. Okay, make sure you understand the conversion. And then uh, what is the amount of energy per gram, per gram in fat, protein, and carbohydrate. Okay, then we can take this value. We can take this value in order to do the calculation later. Any question? No. Okay, good. Right. 250. Okay, thank you very much. So we continue. Okay, for example, yeah, this one, activity 3.2. Um, we have three types of food here. Fried rice, banana, and milk. Okay. Mm, okay, wait. Uh. To know the calorie value of the food. Food. Example of the calculation. I want to click on. Okay. All right. Never mind. So this is the example to estimate uh, the activity to estimate the calories calorific value of food, and then actually, um, the scientist or the dietitian already uh, calculate. Uh, they already calculate the amount of energy for for many type of food. Mereka sudah kira berapa banyak jumlah tenaga ya. They already calculate it. For example, they do the what we call um uh, they do the experiment. For example, one piece of banana is they find out that it has what we call um 100 
Wait, huh? 60. Okay, it has, okay, one piece of banana contain 60 kilocalorie of value. Why can we find the value? Why can we find the value of what we call the food? Okay? Can we find the value of food? They already calculate it for you actually, eh? For example, okay, I will show you something. I will show you um, the picture here. Um, so bear with me. Stop presenting. I will show you the picture first, eh? Mm, entire screen. Okay. All right. So can you see the picture I'm sharing with you? Can you see the picture? Can. Okay, very good. So actually, the food you buy, the canned food and then the plastic, they have what we call a nutritional facts here. Nut nutritional facts. Okay. Nutritional fact is just a, what we call, um, a value the value of energy of the food here yeah. okay it is a law okay the government required each of the food producer okay uh what we call the the the, the company or the food company must what we call display or must what we call give the nutritional information inside on their food packaging mesti ada ini sangat penting because this is the law. Because they want to people to know how many energy that they take. Alright? So this is just a few examples of what we call a food label or information, nutritional information uh, inside a food. Okay? Any label, any food packaging, okay? Any food packaging must have this nutritional information. If you buy something, for example, if you buy the, the food without the nutritional fact, it is against the law. Itu adalah salah, ya. So, what is the information on the, on the, uh, on the nutritional information? For example, here, if you can see it for yourself, huh? the Milo here, uh, we just try to zoom it for you. Huh? Okay, can you see the energy parts of the the, time, the table here. Can you see the energy? How many energy per 100 gram for Milo? Can you see the, the, the amount of energy? Okay, can you see? Eh? You can see it. Eh? Okay, for example here, 100 gram of Milo contain 412. Wait, eh? Okay, you give me a... Kejap, eh? mm, where is the G ink? Okay, right. Okay, you can see here for 100 gram of 100 gram of what we call Milo contain 412 kilocalorie of energy. Okay, boleh nampak ya? Eh? Uh, this is for per 100 gram. For 30 gram of serving, 124. Okay. And then for Milo, they already give you both unit. Huh? Sometimes uh, sometime inside the food label only give you the calorie. And then sometimes only uh, Joe. But this uh, for Milo, uh, they give you two unit here. Kilo calorie and kilo Joe. Okay. So, uh, energy in kilo Joe is 1000. 730 kilojoule per 100 gram of what? Per 100 gram of Milo. So, why we need to know this amount of energy? Because usually, uh, for example, calorific value. Yeah? Later, I will try to give you the, the schedule, the timetable for, uh, for example, um, man, a meal. Meal Usually, uh, what is the calorific? What is the calorie requirement or recommended calorific value for one day? Untuk satu hari, uh, maybe about two thousand kilo kilocalorie, for example, for one day. 
Okay, based on that information, we can plan our diet. Okay, we can plan our diet based on that information. Later, I will give you the the, the what we call um, the schedule or the table. Eh? Right. Okay, for this, eh? for this one. Mm hmm. Okay, class. I need you to. Uh, you need to excuse me for a moment. Yeah, give me five minutes. Okay, give me five minutes. Yeah. Okay, sorry for the interruption. Are you still there? You are still there? Hello. You still there? Okay, Jahoy, yeah. thank you very much. Okay, good. Right. Sorry, ah, huh? sorry for the interruption. But never mind. Back to the topic, right? So. Uh, example of the calculation here, they already calculate, actually, uh, the, uh, according to the table here, they already calculated, who calculated? The scientists, uh, the scientists and the dietitian already calculated that one plate of fried rice contain 640 kilocalorie of value, kilocalorie of energy, sorry. Okay. You no need. Uh, we I think uh, we don't need to know uh, how they how they what we call um, produce or how they calculate that value. We no need to know because usually the calorific value or the energy of food is already calculated for us. 
Okay, inside the textbook, we no need to to know how they calculate the energy of food. Eh? Tak perlu. Maybe, eh? I think maybe when you go to form 4 or form 5, when you take biology, then you have one activity that need you to calculate the value of food, but not in form 1. Okay, sorry, not in form 2. Yeah, not in form 2. Okay, because like here, you just need to understand what is the, uh, what we call the, the, the value of the energy, uh, whether it is in calorie or joule. Uh, for example, in the textbook here, fried rice, they already uh, tell you that one fried rice, one plate of fried rice has 640 kilocalorie of, of what? Of energy. Okay. Okay. My question is, can I change kilocalorie to joule? All right. 650. For example, 650 kilocalorie is equal to how many joule you think? Uh, by using the conversion. You still remember the conversion? I still remember the conversion. Oh, where is the text box? Okay. Still remember the conversion? So, one, uh, what's the conversion? Still remember? Mm, one calorie, okay, or one kilocalorie equal to 4.2 kilojoule. So, this one, the value is 400, uh, sorry, 640 kilocalorie, meaning if you need to change it to joule equal to, somebody calculate it for me. Huh. If I want to change to kJ, kilojoule, how many k, uh, kilojoule in 640 kilocalorie? Use this conversion. Anybody? Can you understand my question? Meaning that one kilocalorie, one kilocalorie equal to 4.2 kilojoule. So if 640 kilocalorie equal to, you just 640, right? So you have 640, wait a 640 kilocalorie, okay, meaning that 614 you must multiply with 4 point, 4 point how much, 4 point, 4 point 2, okay, 4 point, 4 point 2, so what is the answer, 640 times 6, 4 point 2 is, 2680, <laughs> okay, you can use the chat function, use the chat function, I want to see your answer, Two six eight eight Liao Yin Tong. Okay. Two six two. Hey, where's the name? Two six. What happened? Two six eight eight kilo kilo joules. Okay. Two six two thousand six hundred and eighty eight kilo joules. Okay. Equal to six hundred and forty kilo calorie. Okay. Can you understand this? Many, huh? Very simple this. Huh? Very simple calculation. Only, right? Okay. Next one. Banana, they already get the value for the value of energy in banana is about 160, uh, 60 kilocalorie. But 60 kilocalorie in one piece of banana. If you take or if you eat two pieces, meaning that you just multiply it by two lah. Huh? So, so 60 times 2, so you have 120 kilo calorie. Okay, how about milk? Milk, you just take one glass and then the amount of energy for milk in one glass is 130 kilo calorie. So this is, uh, this is what we call the, 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 the amount of energy in one milk, in one glass of milk. So what is the total calorie for the diet, for the menu? It's about... 819 kilo calorie okay for the whole menu for the whole food in this menu consists of fried rice banana and milk okay 890 kilo 
calorie. This is only for maybe about for, for breakfast. For breakfast. Okay? Only for breakfast. Eh? We are not include lunch and then maybe dinner and then for what we call uh, minum petang panggil apa in English? Huh? Uh, in uh, what we call uh, uh, late evening, you have the uh, meal in evening. Yeah? We are not calculated that. This is only one, only maybe about one, one menu, one diet. Uh, maybe breakfast only. Right? Okay, next one. Okay, to collect information on calorific value of food, okay, I already uh, uh, tell you before, uh, taught you before, okay, this is the nutritional facts, for example, uh, every food packaging must have nu nutritional facts that contain what? That contain, you still remember, that contain the amount of energy, the amount of what? The amount of fat, Okay, this is the very important things you need to, to consider or to look at the nutritional information for each food. Eh? The amount of energy, the amount of, sorry, okay, the amount of energy, this one, very important, the amount of energy, the amount of fat, and then the amount of what else? And then the amount of protein and then the amount of carbohydrate, the amount of carbohydrate and then sugar. Huh? This is very important to know. All right. The rest uh, may be also important, but I need to emphasize emphasis on this one. Amount of energy, amount of protein, amount of carbohydrate, and amount of fat. Okay, the rest of the information, uh, maybe uh, when you go uh, form five or form four, you will learn more about the nutritional fact. But in form form one, okay, three, uh, sorry, yeah, uh, four, four information you need to understand, and then to what we call um, identify <clears throat> energy value, maybe in kilocalorie or kilojoule amount of protein, amount of fat, and amount of carbohydrate. That's all. Okay? Uh, you can, every food packaging, they are what we call, um, has this what we call um, the amount of energy, okay, inside it. Okay. Is it okay? Can you understand this? All right. So, um, I think we stop here. Okay, I will stop here. And then maybe I will give you the activity or maybe the exercise instruction. I will, I will uh, give you the instruction on the Telegram group. Okay, we will stop here. And then if you have any question, you can ask me later on the Telegram group. Okay, is it okay? Is it okay for you? I think we I, I think we can stop here. Enough already for online. Is it okay, class? Into? Okay. Are you good? All right. So we stop here and then our next meeting is on. Uh, our next meeting, two alpha is on. Sorry, where is your timetable? Um okay, so we meet again next week on Tuesday. Tuesday, 12.30 to, is it true? Right. Tuesday, right. Okay. Never mind. Tuesday, 12.30. Maybe uh, you just stand by. Maybe uh, we will start a bit, a bit, a bit late now eh, because I need, I want to give you some, some, some space, uh, give you some rest between the, between the subject. Okay. So we will meet again next week. So we go to the telegram and then please um, uh, what we call update the information. Like, yeah? I will give all the instruction on the telegram later on. Okay. So we stop right here. So thank you for your cooperation. Thank you for your listening and, um, and uh, participation. So we stop here. Thank you for your attendance. All right. You can leave the class now. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Thank you for you. Thank you for you.
Ok, bye.